And Dan, it's hard to deny those comments when they're caught on audio tape. The comments made by board member Philip Tabera, who today kept quiet. The new Rancho San Juan High School being built on the northern outskirts of Salinas was scheduled to open August of next year. This week, the Salinas Union High School Board was told it likely won't open until 2019. And at least one board member, Philip Tabera, is heard on audio telling fellow board members the news should not go public. That's good that we know. You know, it's good that we know, and um, I'm not going to talk to somebody in the streets if I see them about this. And I would urge us all not to do the same. The construction delays tied in large part to last winter's monster storm that flooded the school and damaged work in progress, along with delays in getting much needed materials with no dates as to when they might arrive. Students, parents, uh, overcrowding, as you know, uh, we, we need the space. And um, to wait another year is, well, to quote the board members, at least several of them on Tuesday night, that's unacceptable. Others are saying the board's decision to make the project a union work site by agreeing to a project labor agreement is leading to the construction delays and ultimately a delay in opening the new school. We're talking money. We're talking time. This affects the entire community, not just me or you, the entire community because they put that on the ballot, voted for it, and now it's payback time. Those that are out there that are basically uh, not even associated with the job that are saying that uh, labor shortage is uh, uh, causing delays, uh, they're very misinformed or they're just not telling the truth. Is there a labor shortage? No, there is no labor shortage. While the new high school is such a concern that District Superintendent Dan Burns will be scheduling a special meeting next Wednesday at 5 p.m. at district offices to further discuss the delays and really give a, uh, the superintendent a chance to get some input from board members as to what direction they want him to take regarding those construction delays. Dan, Aaron. Thank you very much, Felix. At this point, we don't know just how much the delays could cost when it comes to building the new school. The budget right now is at $77 million.